Now what's good gangsters or Kilo Kentucky? I got a holes in my mouth right now. Pause. I don't want you to think I said something else. Like instead of holes, I put the B in front just in case you're thinking like that. Cause I know how y'all be. We're live streaming today, 1 a.m. Eastern. So make sure y'all tune in. We're also going to be playing Fall Guys. So make sure you download that. I'm going to host a server and everyone's going to join. And we're going to have a splendid time. It's Reddit Sundays. We do this every Sunday and every Thursday. We look at Reddit and we judge all of the posts in terms of which ones were the best ones and then which ones just absolutely suck while giving credit where credit is due. If you're new here, like today's content, make sure you hit that like button, red subscribe button, turn on the channel notifications, follow me on all my socials, and if you would like to become a member of the channel, feel free to do so by pressing that join button next to that red subscribe button. If you're on mobile, it's the link inside the description. So, I think this sums it up. SDS, server issues. SDS, thinks it's a, it think it's gone. I can't even speak. Thinks it's gone. And then SDS and then server issues is right behind it. I say this pretty much sums it up. I'm not gonna give this a 10 out of 10. I say this just passes with a seven out of 10. Now, the one suggestion I've made on Twitter is they should give us a thank you pack version two or extend the rank seasons deadline because a lot of people could have been grinding today and the server's going down for an hour. They could have just hung up the cleats and said, screw it, I'll do it next time. And that is by OG Nintendad. Now let's go to OG Nintendad number two. It looks like this man is on fire with the post. What gives people feelings of power? Money, status, hitting a walk off, no doubt, home run. Now this is gonna be a 10 out of 10. And the only reason this is a 10 out of 10 is if you were in that live stream where we came back down eight in the final two innings, you know that as soon as I hit that walk off home run, I basically went crazy. Now I didn't exactly pump my fist, but I went off. Like I was screaming, I was going off. The chat was hyped. It was electric. I was electric. It was immaculate feelings. Why can't we have nice things? Days since last server issue, zero. I'm giving this a seven out of 10. It was by Junk Food Fatty. I think it could have been a lot more creative, but it's still a very good style. Still a very good style. Still a very good style. That's all I can say. Now this is by PS Vita Veteran. Oh, pause. That's like his title on Twitch or something cool. I'm not sure what that is. But Aiden Smith, Smithers Seven, Smothers Seven. I don't know. Peco Park dedicated to Padres bullpen coach Daryl Akersfield, who died of cancer in 2012. So I'm assuming he means the plaque i didn't say plaque i don't know why peco park has a plaque dedicated it's like i can't even read but that's pretty good we're not gonna judge this because this is nothing to judge it's a symbol of respect and of honor rest in peace to that coach i hate cancer hate cancer with a passion to anyone that has been affected by it you know i'm sorry my heart out and my heart goes out to you and your family members and i hope that everyone that has it right now finds a way to beat it or in general we find a cure to it next one is going to be mech nick 2. so the guy will never try to catch me stealing until i'm actually distracted <laughs> all right i'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. the picture when i'm on first base and i finally put my controller down and look away this is this is true and i don't know how this is possible but this is true it's like the controller is motion sensed into the game and this does not only happen with you trying to steal or taking a lead it also happens whenever like a pop fly gets caught and then like your opponent just runs like you would never expect them uh pop up to the first baseman to run from third to home and you look away for a second thinking the game is instantly just gonna go ahead and transfer to the next hitter you look back into the screen and you see the guy's already halfway there and you try to press x as fast as you can while picking up the controller and the guy already beats you home and you're just like this dude really finessed me like it happens to me all the time i just sit back relax next thing i know the runner's going and i'm like i honestly don't even know what to do like the, the state of panic i'm in i'm just jumbling the controller everything is going all over the place frig off Baskersion. He looked like a caveman swinging a club. He wasn't going to hit that one with an or we'll give this a 7.5 because it probably applies to a lot of us, but especially those new players when they chase pitches way outside of the strike zone. That was by Sofa King Stupid and he spelled stupid pretty nicely. So apparently my grandpa is playing double A ball. So, oh snap. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Look at that. That is pretty cool. I'm not sure if that's like modeled after an actual person, but I've never seen someone look that old in MLB The Show 21 or MLB The Show ever. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna give this probably 
a nice 8.5 it was a nice find in my opinion 11 and 1 down two outs this is a battle royale gameplay clip we're gonna skip that we're gonna go into made in america 1776 i have never felt power like this when you finally take your bat batting view off fisheye so you must have upgraded to strike zone we're gonna give this a 10 out of 10 because it's something that i recommend everyone does go to strike zone and learn to hit on strike zone once you learn to hit on strike zone i promise you the game is gonna be a whole lot easier jealous of my friend's view while playing in florida oh my lord now nah, we have to look at this image from a larger view now this is what's beautiful about this right now there's a road to the show glitch there's a intentional walk double xp glitch right you get to look at nature at its beauty and enjoy the outdoors while sipping on either an energy drink or whatever beverage you want to sip on or whatever food you want to eat on while playing that will be the show now i wouldn't suggest playing anything online on that flat screen tv because the latency is going to be out of this world but if it's like doing any offline content i i'm like th this is just gorgeous this is just gorgeous hopefully one day i live my life or i get to the point where i can live my life like that to be honest with y'all sinker changeup guy the announcer after not calling the pitcher a sinker changeup guy for five minutes this is by chris coughlin 98 unfortunately i can't rate this because i don't play the game with audio on and that was by a dex but i don't play the game with audio on so i wouldn't be able to actually acknowledge or connect with you all on a personal level so if i were to rate this that would be me lying all right let's check this one out it says and this is by lord paleon after playing exclusively offline for almost a decade, I decided to play my first online game last night. I've been playing versions of the show on and off since 12, almost exclusively in Road to the Show mode. Last year, I got really into DD but stuck to offline modes. Last night, I finally decided it was my time to play online. My opponent hit my first three batters in the first or in the first on three pitches, paused for three minutes between innings, hit my first two batters in the second, paused for five minutes, then I got a disconnect win. Is this what I've been missing all these years, or does it get better? It gets better because you're gonna get spanked as you continue going up, on me, on me. Back to back Bellingers, to be honest, we're gonna watch this, but it's not something I wanna see, right? It's not something I wanna see, and this is by Banana Beef, Banana Beef, right? He just got a Bellinger, right? He's playing Xbox. I, I, all the Xbox players gotta have the best luck. That's 90K right there that he made. And then he went ahead, opened up another stack, got himself diamond uniforms, and the diamond uniforms apparently wasn't enough. He had to get himself another Bellinger. Like that to me is out of this world wild. Out of this world wild. Out of this world wild. Now, Super Fractor, worth the grind, nice. He got 69 out of 69. For that, we're gonna give it a 6.9 because we gotta respect the 69 by wide underscore object 4975, but I'm not thumbing, I'm not gonna put that thumbs up. All right, let's see this, let's see this. Bumgarner 14 strikeouts moment on last to bat on the appeal. Now, I've heard a lot of people complain about this moment, say that they absolutely hate it. Hopefully, when I start doing my moments, daily moments again, which is, this is a, which this is a reminder to do your daily moments, I am able to give you all a tip on how to complete this. Let's go to the check swing. Check swing. On Starling Castro 2, I believe, I'm missing Starling Castro play. And on a 2-2 count, he gets him out. So congratulations to you, sir. You defeated the most difficult moment we've had so far. Probably the one and only time I'll be within the first 10 people to fully parallel a card. Congratulations, he got himself Lee Smith. Lee Smith, that's going to be a reliever that is going to be in your bullpen for a long time. That's why I have him as number one priority over Jason Bay and definitely over Don Mattingly. Now, otherwise, your bench. What gives people feelings of power? And this is by Grand Plat 3. Money status, stealing a base when the manager says so. Uh, I'm gonna give this a failing grade. I'll give it a four because it doesn't like I steal bases all the time. So, you know, what I'm saying I don't even I don't really be working or, or caring about that. Starter stamina depletion. OK, let's look at this because this is a public service announcement by J. Clark 735. Starter stamina depletion seems to be bug right now. Here's my six though Sanchez 96 stamina with more than half his energy left at 84 pitches. I'm not sure this is something we want to complain about because the way energy works in this game, if someone disconnects, you lose all your energy, which I hate but it's the way it works now hopefully they do something to energy to where it's more viable but it's unfortunately finally got my mj players to the mlb 45 and 23 already taken that's unfortunate but congrats to you the chris too quick and then last but not least let's go ahead and 
I guess, I guess finish it off with swags. It looks like he has an appreciation post and it's something positive from what it seems that can go ahead and leave this off on a good note too, which it hasn't been on a bad note regardless. But it says with the expansion of the show to Xbox, it has opened up so many opportunities for new players and new fans in general and content creators. I want to go ahead and add that there because I wouldn't be able to grow without the game going to Xbox and helping all you newcomers out. The game seems to have caught a buzz as I see a lot of people genuinely enjoying the game and finally being able to play with their friends. Not only that, but the game is also really, really new player friendly in terms of getting good teams in terms of getting good teams 100 and the best players are still going to be the most dominant players because it's not a 100 complete rng game i got this idea from basketball youtuber known as king of the fourth quarter he's a pretty good youtuber where he tells you about how he's finally been able to get into baseball again a lot of it having to do with mlb the show he even said that he went down to play catch with his friend for the first time in forever which i found amazing people are really getting into baseball or back into baseball and it's amazing yeah there may be toxicity or whatnot but it's great seeing everybody come together i'm sure there's others out there who love baseball just as much as i do i can't wait to see the future thanks sds for making such a quality game despite some bugs and server issues yes at the end of the day despite everything that we complain about when it comes to sds we have to realize that compared to 2k compared to madden compared to fifa in my personal opinion someone that has played each and every single one of those genres sds is probably one of the easiest ones for you to get into diamond dynasty and learn the ropes as well as one of the easiest ones for you to get a really good team without having to pay any sort of money for stubs or cards or packs in general you can literally just jump in do moments especially tops now moments and then the monthly awards moments and missions and all of that and get yourself a team full of diamond players that are compatible at the world series level as long as you increase your skill level by playing non-stop so shout out to sds not only that but yes they're bringing a new a lot of new fans and if the mob does decide to let the kids play and let them show expression etc i think it's gonna spark up baseball for the youth again and it's gonna be great for the game of baseball in general especially mob the show and especially guys like me that are content creators for mob the show so if you did end up enjoying today's content hit that like button hit that subscribe button follow me on all my socials turn on the notifications become a member of the channel if you would like to have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i will catch you all in the next one peace out